Welcome to AN24 TV News, reaching you live from our studio. My name is Timmy Tayo Peters. First, the headlines. Kaduna police declare manhunt for killers of core member. Federal government to shut Fort Milan Bridge for 24 hours to carry out repairs. On the foreign scene, Egypt to allow aid shipments to Gaza through Rafa crossing. The Katina State Police Command has launched a manhunt for the killers of core member Grace Chaoya Silas. The police, while confirming the murder of the National Youth Service Corps member by yet to be identified assailant in the state, said the deceased was reported to have been stabbed to death during the morning jogging at the Banawa in Kaduna South local government area of the state on Wednesday. The deceased friends and coursemate at the University of Jos have taken to Facebook to mourn her. The Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, has threatened to shut down illegal motor parks operating in the capital city, Abuja, over rising one-chance robbery in the city. The Minister of the FCT, Ian Sonwike, said this during a chat with a journalist in his office in Abuja. The minister said a joint task force on cross-border crimes has been set up to tackle the security menace called one-chance robbery. The ex-governor of the River State also blamed the rise in crime in the capital city in illegal motor parks and uncompleted buildings used as dens by criminals. The federal government has announced the closure of the Third Milan Bridge in Lagos for repairs. According to a statement released by the Federal Controller of Works, Lagos, Olukorede Kesha, the bridge will be closed from midnight of Saturday, the 21st of October, to midnight of Sunday, the 22nd of October. The government is kicking off the comprehensive rehabilitation work on the bridge, starting with the repairs of the critical portions. The repair work follows months of complaints from commuters of critically failed section of the bridge. Motorists are advised to use alternative routes where possible during the period as the Adeniji Adeli section of the bridge will be close to traffic. On the global scene, as the war between Israel and Hamas intensifies with continuous airstrikes on Gaza, the United Nations and World Health Organization have consistently shared fears over the humanitarian crisis. With restricted access to food and water in Gaza, Egypt has finally agreed to open up a crossing to allow up to 20 trucks of aid into Gaza. U.S. President Joe Biden, however, revealed that the aid shipment would probably not happen until Friday. Since the attack launched by Hamas on October 7, some 1,400 Israelis and about 3,500 Palestinians have so far been killed. Finally, in sports, European football's governing body, UEFA, has said no matches organized by it will be played in Israel until further notice. The decision, according to a statement from the body, says after thorough evaluation of the current safety and security situation in the whole territory of Israel, no UEFA competition matches shall be played in Israel until further notice. Consider this, you define your own life. Don't let other people write your script. And that's AN24 TV News. Don't forget to follow us across all our social media platforms. My name is Timmy Tayo Peters. Thanks for watching.